Hello everybody, this is TV Master 996. This is my first ever video interview, which I'm going to start with HEC contestants and American Idol contestants. We're here today with America's Got Talent finest in 2017, Evie Blair. She um, got to the final that year, some friendly Farley. Hello guys, how are we? Thank uh, you for uh, obviously hosting this uh, chat. Obviously, massive thanks to Evie for obviously taking yeah. time out of her busy schedule to, you know, chat to us. So, um, if you want to say hello to the viewers. Hi! <laughs> so, Lee, you got a question to start off with? Yes, so you was on AGT when you was about 13. What what made you obviously want to go on to AGT in the first place? Um, well, I've always... Um... I've always loved music. I've my mom's a musician, and her mom like music is a big part of my family. And so, ever since I was young, um, I I knew I wanted to, you know, pursue music for the rest of my life because it was what I loved to do. And um, I've always been pretty good at it, <laughs> um, as at least my mom tells me. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so I thought, you know. Like watching America's Got Talent since I was young, it was just kind of like something that I always thought I would do. As I got a little bit older, um, it kind of got less and less real. Like, no, I, I won't actually go yeah. on the show, you know, but you know, they called us up one day and said I had made it through and that I was gonna be on the show. So wow. it just all ended up working out. <laughs> Perfect. No, no, that old issue then, no. Every performance to the final was just, just incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Right, um, what was your favourite moment on America's Got Talent? Uh, my favourite moment... Hmm. It was, it was all really, really great, honestly. I, um, I made really great friends with everyone there, the cast and the crew and, um, and the judges as well, and I got to talk to them a little bit, so... I mean, I, it's really hard to pinpoint one moment that was my favorite. It was all amazing. Um, performing on, you know, on a stage like that with that big of a production and all the scenery and, you know, that was an experience that, like, you know, n unlike anything else. And so that was really awesome. Um, but also just, I made really good memories the whole time and having my family there with me and, uh, you know, being just being backstage with my friends and everything like that. So, <laughs> I was uh, another question I was gonna ask your best friends on the show. My oh, the best show. friend from the show. Yeah. Um, probably, I don't know. I I every round I was kind of with different people the whole time. Um, but I made really good friends with a lot of different people. Um. Angie Green was probably one of my best friends on the episodes that we were on together. Um, but also Darcy and Angelica and Mary Canna. Also, um, kind of surprisingly, like Preacher Lawson. He was just so nice to everyone and such a fun guy. Like he, yeah, he was really awesome. And I'm still pretty close with him today. We, you know, mess each other sometimes and catch up and so he's really awesome and um yeah mandy harvey as well she's amazing i don't know i really was really great friends with everyone in that cast and um the producers actually say um like all the pas and people who work with the contestants and bring them from place to place they said they've never in the history of agt had a cast like where all the contestants were such great friends as my season. Like, we all just genuinely really love each other and it didn't really feel like a competition most of the time. It just felt like we were all hanging out and <laughs> so it was really a lot of fun. No, be best season I think, of all 50. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. It was a great season. It was, actually first, probably... it was also the first one I stayed about one in the morning till three. That's the last time in the UK to watch it. Um, I was like, who's going to win this? 
And yeah, I it, was, it, it was probably like the first season that I actually really got into AGT. You came on stage, performed that song, and I was like, wow, that's my winner right there. <laughs> oh, thank you. There was a highlight in the final as well when like you said you all got on together and preached against Darcy. I yeah. think he couldn't stop laughing because he knew he knew he was going to get everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. He always um he made a joke during the whole season um that we all we all kind of knew that Darcy was going to win. Like she yeah. was super popular um among the fans and stuff. And so obviously we didn't actually know, but Preacher would always make jokes like. After she would perform, he'd be like, all right, who wants second and third? Like, come on. <laughs> because he just would always joke around that Darcy, like we already knew she was going to win. So when he got called up with her at the same time, he was like, what? Are you kidding me? Like, you guys don't even have to do this. I already know. I'll just walk off. <laughs> so he, I think she was the most proud winner as well. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Of all seasons. Well, four in seasons, but... Absolutely yeah. amazing. Second, yeah, Life Balance did well. But Angelica, I think she's doing great now as well. Yeah. Uh, fifth was um. Fifth was Siren Hero, and fourth was um. Oh, Mandy yeah. Harvey, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the results was I think the nervous I've been since I watched the show since the start. Okay, Lee, you got another question? Yeah, so obviously since your time on AGT, you visited loads of different countries, um, different states all over the US. If you had to pick your favourite state that you've performed in, whether that be on your own tour or as, you know, a backup to someone, what would be your favorite state and why? Um, well, I I did a show in Hawaii and it's beautiful there. I mean, I think if anyone goes to Hawaii, they love it. It's just so peaceful and um, beautiful. But one that actually really surprised me was um, South Carolina. I went to South Carolina probably five, four or five months after the show ended. And they just treated me so good there. Like, it was awesome. Like, everyone there knew who I was. And like, they were all just so, no, so, so, so nice. Like, and everyone kind of, I don't know if it's the whole state, but like the town I was performing in, everyone knew each other. And the, like, it was just, like one big family in this whole town. Like you go into a restaurant and our guide like taking us around the town and to my concerts and stuff. Um, like he'd walk into a restaurant and he'd know everyone who worked there and they know him and they know me and like, it was all just super, super tight. And so, yeah, probably South Carolina is up there. Also, they gave me my own day. Like, there's oh, really? an Evie Claire Day in South oh, wow. Carolina. I'm pretty sure it's like December 9th, it is. Yeah. But yeah, they were wow. they were awesome there. Seven days after your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, it was just really awesome. I really like South Carolina. Uh, I haven't been to America. I've actually yeah. never left the country. Really? Yeah, I've never traveled anywhere. I've, I've been twice to America, New York and LA. Yeah. Um, the last time that I went to LA, um, which was last year, funny story, um, AGT obviously was filming when I was there and I was probably not that far away from uh, when Darcy was there because she came on as a guest. Yeah. And they were filming in the like Chinese theater, I think it was. Yeah, they, and I was literally- They film in the Dolby right next to the Chinese theater, yeah. Yeah, and I was literally in a Starbucks just down the road. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. I think Preacher was there in a way as well, wasn't he? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't there. 
think Cody Lee was before him. Right, up next. What is the favourite song you ever wrote? My favourite song I ever wrote? Um, my most recent one, uh, Trash, that I, that I just released last month. Um, that one was really fun. It was a lot, it had a lot different, like, feel than my other ones and it was really it was really fun one to write i wrote it with my brother and my sister and um yeah that one was a lot of fun i also okay day um you know it'll always just like have a special place in my heart just because it was um you know i wrote it with my sister in a time when we were you know going through a lot and it was honestly like super easy to write for us like it just flowed out like once we actually got it going it just it was there like a gift from god like it was it was really awesome and um so that one will always have a special place in my heart but yeah probably probably those two are my favorite <laughs> sang it with james arthur i remember in the uh, yeah yeah that's right yeah all right lee on in in the UK everyone calls Simon Cowell like the big bad wolf. I've met a few people that were uh, on talent shows over here in the UK that have obviously known Simon and they all they all saying the same thing but I want to know what your opinion on Simon is. Is he really the big bad wolf that everyone says or is he more of a like a cuddly teddy bear? Um. A lot of people actually ask me this. He is, the thing about Simon Cowell is he's very honest and he, like, he's known to be very honest. So if you're on his good side and he likes you, then he's gonna be very openly honest and kind to you. Um, but if you do something that he doesn't like, then, you know, then he'll be mean because he's just saying what he thinks. Um, but yeah, he we had a really good connection. He was super nice to me and he was super nice to a lot of people on my season. And so I never saw him, you know, be the big bad wolf like everyone says. And he, um, I saw him interact with his son a little bit and he's awesome. He's um, super kind. And um, after, my, after my father passed away, the next day, like, literally the next day there was a giant bouquet of flowers that showed up at my door from simon because oh, wow did, you know he was he's really honestly a really great person and i don't know if he likes people to know that because it's kind of his image to be you know he's the mean one he's the big bad wolf but <laughs> i he honestly is a really great guy and i i enjoyed talking with him and um after almost every single time I performed, um, he came up and talked to me off camera. Sometimes he would come and talk to me before and after, but yeah, almost every single time he would come and chat with me. And when I went back to go uh, just in the audience for one of the shows, he came up and talked to me and he saw me in the audience and came over. And um, so yeah, he he's really nice. And yeah, I like Simon. <laughs> What about um, the other judges, Howie, what's Howie, Holly and Malby win it last season? Yeah, um, yeah, I was, I, I got to talk with all of them personally and um, Howie is really awesome. He, um, he's just very real, like everything he says and does on TV is exactly true to his character and um, he's just really authentic and funny and super nice and he would come up to the to the contestant green room all the time and you know go on instagram live with us and just hang out and so he was super awesome to hang out with um i got to uh chat with heidi a little bit too um backstage she she actually heard me practicing and her and howie were in a room next door and they came in and they're like, oh, we heard you practicing. I'm like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to hear my song. And they're like, this one is how you sounded good and stuff like that. I'm like, what are you doing? I don't know. Um, so that was kind of a fun experience. But um, Mel B, she was awesome as well. Um, during my second on the judge cuts round, um, 
she came up onto the stage and um, chatted with me for a little bit and she covered all the microphones and turned the microphones off and she's like I just want to let you know like this isn't for TV or anything like I just you know no one told me to do this um, and she chatted with me for a little bit so that that will always have a special place in my heart as well but yeah I loved all the judges they were all super sweet to me and I had a really good experience with them. <laughs> uh, it's great. Um, and uh, Ta I think, yeah, it's Tyra, wasn't it? Tyra Bank? Tyra, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do, I do like Sophia. I really do like Sophia. She's, uh, mm -hmm. I, think, uh, I do think she's a good judge this year. Yeah. I've been, I've been watching a little bit. We don't have cable TV. I haven't had it since I was really young. We just watch like Netflix and stuff, but um, so I don't like watch oh. America's Got Talent live, but when I go back and watch it on YouTube and stuff, um, I, yeah, I think she's a great judge. She's very charismatic and fun and yeah, I think she's doing a great job. You are like really focused in the music industry. If you had to pick anyone in the music industry, um, in the entire world, who would you like to collaborate with and why? Um, there's probably a few people. I I really like John Bellion. Um, I think he's very creative in his music, in his lyrics. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with his music, but uh, he's kind of... He, a lot of his music has inspired my new music to use like funky sounds that I had and just try out new things that I haven't ever done before. And um, he has kind of an alternative style. And so that, that's been really cool just to kind of see something new in music because, you know, like there's a billion of the same versions of everything. Um, and so I feel like his music is, you know, actually something creative and new, which is really awesome to see. But um, yeah, I so probably him, uh, but I also have really loved um, like Reese Lewis lately. Um, I don't know, I don't really listen to very much like top 100 radio yeah. music. <laughs> I kind of like alternative and indie type music, kind of like my own, that same genre, but um, yeah, there's, yeah, probably, probably John Bellion is my first, my first pick, but. Um, Any questions, Jack? I was going to ask, um, who inspires you as an artist? I don't know if that's like the same question. Um, yeah, yeah, he, John Bellion as well, like, just in my recent music production, um, but, like, as far as, like, writing, music and you know coming up with like lyrics and words and stuff um probably just like a lot of my own faith expire um a lot of my own faith is like expressed through uh my music and whatever i write so um yeah <laughs> said that you're quite close to darcy and preacher Obviously, they were on um, AGT Champions. Um, yeah. If you got a phone call from the AGC, uh, AGT producers saying that they obviously want you to go back onto the show, um, whether or not that would be as a guest like Darcy was or performing on AGT Champions, would you do it? Um, that's a difficult question. I think... I think... Um, Probably yeah, I would, I would go back um, and perform for sure. Um, I think champions would kind of be fun just to kind of see all my old friends and stuff from the show and meet people from past seasons and other um, other Got Talent shows, you know, from other countries. But um, yeah, great. I think be great. Every clever is a great handle in the barn. <laughs> Yeah, that that would be interesting, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not sure. I I I really do miss the show. Like it was a lot of fun. 
being on it and I had a really awesome experience and um, so it would be it would be great to go back and you know see even my old friends that worked there worked behind the scenes and stuff um, I made really great friends with them so I think yeah I would probably do it I think I wouldn't go back on like a regular season um, and try to compete again and win um, cause, just because I don't really you know what was that right um, but yeah just going on as a guest yeah I most likely would yeah champion season yeah um, so like, I don't know if they're going to do it this year what? I don't think they're going to do the uh, champions this year with you know what isn't going on uh, yeah this is a it's a shame but it'd be great one day when they do season three great to see you back on the show and so mm -hmm. okay i do a final question then uh, what was your favorite song you performed on the show um my favorite song i performed probably what a wonderful world that one was um one of the most special ones to me um yeah, or or even I try. Um, I did that for the judge cuts round, and that one that one was awesome because um, honestly, like my style of music, I play the piano mostly by ear, and you know, yeah. I kind of get sick of songs quickly, like so I don't practice very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> like I don't stay on one song and like practice it for a long time and. Then before I perform it, I just kind of play by ear and feel it out. And my my family jokes around that I can never play a song the same way twice. Um, just because if I'm feeling something different, then I'll play something different or I'll sing it in a different way. Um, but I but I try for the judge cuts round. I was actually not gonna sing that song. Um, I was gonna sing Unsteady by X Ambassadors. And um, I had been rehearsing that song with the producers for like a week. And before that I had been rehearsing it um, like from my house for like a month. And so by the time I got there, I was kind of sick of it and they could kind of tell, but you know, it was the song that we picked and approved. And so we just went with it. Um, but the day of the show, um, the producer came up to me and he said, you know, I just had the thought just now hearing you sing this, that maybe this isn't the right song. Um, it's very popular right now, but I think Simon is gonna have heard a million kids do this song and I don't think it's the best idea and I can kind of tell you're not enjoying it anymore. So I think we should go with your backup song that I had ran through with them like two times. And I was like, okay. And so we went back into the room, uh, into the music room, and I played the piano. So on that round, I, I didn't uh, sit at the piano, I sang to a track, but the track was actually my arrangement of the song. Um, they have this amazing guy who works there where he can just hear something once and then play it back perfectly. So. They just kind of listened to me play it on the piano and sing it, and then he uh, recorded it. Um, but yeah, they used my arrangement for that, and so that was a lot of fun because it was just, you know, something new that I could express myself with, and that I didn't have to like drill like perfectly, you know. Um, it was more just free for me to do what I wanted and express how I wanted to do, and so that was a really enjoyable performance for me. But the same kind of thing happened with What a Wonderful World as well, because I didn't go back uh, to America's Got Talent for the whole week and a half that you're supposed to, um, because my father had passed away the week before, and so I just showed up two days before the show and said, okay, sorry, like, I'm late, but I'm, you know, I'll sing. And so we did What a Wonderful World and 
it was more expressive. They just let me kind of do what I wanted for that one. So it was the same type of experience, but yeah. I feel. I still wouldn't say it's emotional before so. myself. <laughs> the audition, I, you know, the audition was definitely one of the final. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, but, yeah, yeah. thank you guys. Uh, it's nice talking to you, Abby. Um, I'll link your YouTube channel down below uh, for everyone else who wants to subscribe to your channel because uh, Abby does uh, loads of uh, covers um, weekly, I think. And um, got you. <laughs> and also official videos also on the channel. Is there anything you want to say to the guys obviously in the support group? Just thanks for everything and for all the support and I really appreciate it and thank you guys as well. I can see so you guys have like my merch and my music in the back and so it's awesome but sure. <laughs> thank you guys. It was great speaking to you Abby. It was I can't believe it still. I can't believe it still. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to the channel and uh, talking to us. Uh, means everything. Of course. And yeah, uh, we'll speak to you probably another time. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you, Abby. Yeah. Take care. Bye.